What's up guys, I'm Akila. welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be trying out a few new products from Maybelline Summer Drop. Like, they drop concealers, eyebrow pencils, a new setting spray. So yeah, I used it to get today's look. So if you wanna see my opinion on these new products and how they performed, please keep on watching. Okay, recently Maybelline dropped a few new products for the summer and I got a few of them in front of me. I have the Super Stay Concealer in the shade Honey, the Ultra Slim Brow. Is that it? Oh, and their new fixing spray. In my last makeup video, I reviewed the Dream Urban Cover and I have this in the shade 330 toffee and if you want to see a review on this foundation i will link it up in the top so you guys can see how this foundation worked out for me i know there is a super stay foundation but i didn't really like it that much i i probably need to give it a try again but today is not that day i'm going to use the um dream urban cover today i already have on primer i use the elf poreless putty primer and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I'll be right back. Okay, usually I do my brows first, but I'm trying to step out of that because I notice when I do my brows first, I kind of get foundation and concealer all over them and I have to redo them again. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on this concealer. I searched high and low for this concealer for like two weeks until one day I checked on Amazon and I was able to pick it up. It's now available at Walmart so you could check your local Walmart and if you don't see it at Walmart, you can check walmart.com or Amazon. I will leave links down below. And this concealer retails for $9.99. I'm not sure if it's going to be cheaper at Walmart. It might be. It usually works out that way. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the site to find out more details about this concealer. The full coverage formula effortlessly glides on and grips the skin to cover dark circles. A smooth, seamless under eye for up to 24 hours. I will not be wearing this concealer for 24 hours. You probably will get maybe 3 hours out of me. 3 to 4. It also says... Our under eye concealer is waterproof, transfer, and smudge resistant, and it lasts for up to 24 hours. Here is what the packaging looks like. So it's like 12 shades of this concealer. And let's see what the applicator looks like. It's kind of like the typical applicator these days. Well, it's not jumbo, but it's kind of shaped like a triangle on one side. And then flat on the other it kind of feels empty but yeah let's just go ahead and give it a try i feel like they could have more shades in this concealer it was kind of tricky for me to find what shade i wanted to use like the shade above this is like my complexion and then there's this one which kind of looks lighter than i'm accustomed to It looks pretty pretty light. I'm using a Juno sponge. I'm looking at it I feel like it's drying down pretty fast. I probably should have took it step by step but let's see. I just wet my sponge again. So far, I'm liking the way it looks. That looks good. That looks, that looks good up close. That looks really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set that before it creases because my under eyes crease really, really fast and badly. I'm using the Fenty setting powder and banana. And I'm gonna blend out this other eye. Hopefully it didn't dry all the way. Okay, looking at the concealer, I'm not sure about how it looks to you guys on camera, but I can still see like darkness in here. And it's looking like even though I tried to set it really fast, it's creasing. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys could see. Okay, um, I have like a cluster of pimples right here. I'm going to put more concealer on it and see if it's buildable. I'm gonna let that set for a little bit. Blending it out, it looked really nice. It's not drying. It's not like a drying concealer, like the e.l.f. concealer. That one dries down really, really fast and it sets. Like you don't even need a powder for that concealer if you don't want to put one on. But this one isn't that. Okay, it looks like the concealer is buildable. So I could have given this another layer if I wanted to. So it's looking like I don't even really need to give you guys a wear test because it's already creased. It already creased on me. I wanted to take pictures after this. Since I have their new setting spray in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. I'm going to compare it to some other setting sprays. Okay, the MAC one smells nice. It has like a soft scent. Same for this one. I would like I wouldn't really say like it sets your makeup neither the fix plus um what i can really compare this to is probably what's that one called it reminds me of the urban decay all-nighter like the all-nighter has a smell like kind of, it's not a chemical okay it kind of smells like chemicals it smells like it's going to set your makeup for the day like that's what this smells like let me see yeah it smells like chemicals um some details on it, it it says that it extends your makeup wear for up to 16 hours it's matte it prevents makeup from melting or fading another thing i can say about it is i don't really care for the the spray it kind of like as much as you spray you don't really feel like you have a lot you're not getting a lot on your face it's not like a strong spray spritz i would give it that but it just don't feel like it's doing much i don't know i could be tripping when i spray i do see like little splotches on so go ahead and like press them out with your sponge so it doesn't leave any marks on your face um let's do brows okay this is Okay, the brow ultra slim it has a 1.5 millimeter pencil crayon um for pre precisely defined brows i got mine in deep brown which is the second darkest shade here is what the pencil looks like it's the typical duo sided eyebrow pencil comes with the spoolie on one side which i'm going to use to get whatever products in my brow out so i can have a smooth application okay here is what it looks like i'm going to compare that tip to the anastasia's pencil is it smaller i can't really tell um i also have the kylie the kai brow pencil yep almost just about the same size let's try another drugstore pencil i have the ultra precise brow pencil by elf yep they're about the same size and now that i'm done comparing them let's see what it looks like oh i like that color it's gliding on very very smoothly I like that. This is good. Wow. This is probably like one of the smoothest pencils I've tried in a long time. Like, this is good. Oh, wow. This is good. That's good. It's so smooth. I'm not really 
really sure if it's gliding on so smoothly because I have on foundation already, but that is nice. Wow. To think of all the money I've been spending on eyebrow pencils. And this one is, let me check. This one's $7.99. And it's probably cheaper if you buy it at Walmart. Wow. It comes in six shades. I usually wear the Anastasia pencil like that's my favorite pencil. And then sometimes I'll use the Kylie one just because I already have it. But this takes the cake. Wow. The spoolie is very hard though. But after like, after trying the pencil, I don't even care about how hard the spoolie is. Like, look at that. I'm so picky when it comes to brows because I don't have any. So like usually when I'm using a brow pencil, like I take like three steps. Like I put on the brow pencil, then I go in with the, the Bushy Brow by Lime Crime and then I like put extra flicks for hair. I already did that in the front with the Maybelline pencil. And then I set with the Bushy Brow Mascara, Brow Mascara, like I do three steps. Now with that pencil, I'm only gonna do two. Wow. I'm in love. Okay, that's all of the new products that I picked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay guys, I am back and this is my final look. Um, I do little Instagram tutorials from time to time and I'm gonna do this look on my Instagram. So yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look, go ahead and go to my Instagram. I will have all the products I use listed on my post. So let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts about the products I used. The concealer looks good now, but when I was applying it, well, after I set it, it just looked a hot mess. I don't know how I was able to revive it, but it looks pretty good right now. Oh, that looks good now. Yeah, I just put more setting powder like in the creases and I guess that fixed it. Okay, for the setting spray, I do believe that it will hold your makeup longer. I say that because I felt like really matte after I put this on. Like I'm used to putting on setting spray or fixing spray and feeling moisturized and dewy afterwards. and. I didn't get that feeling with this. Yeah, and for the eyebrow pencil, hands down, that is like the fa my favorite product that I tried today. Um, it just looks amazing. I think that's going to be my new Holy Grail eyebrow pencil for now on. So you guys are going to see that a lot more. If it's in my spirit, because usually after I record these videos, like I just take my makeup off. If it's in my spirit, I will come back in a few hours to let you guys know how it held up. Okay guys, I decided to be a decent reviewer and I kept on the makeup for the rest of the day. It is now 8.48. I stopped filming around like 4.40, so it's five hours now. I am floored at how well my makeup looks at this moment. Like the brows stayed on. I wasn't worried about that, but like I don't look oily which is such an amazing thing because i get oily within like the first two to three hours of wearing makeup like it's just that bad for me and this looks good and i attribute that to the lasting fix spray i didn't like that i didn't look nice and smooth and dewy after i sprayed this but I will say that it does set your makeup for the long haul. Like, I look almost as good as when I left. It's, it looks really, really good. Um, for now on, when I do use it, after I'm done doing my makeup, I will spray it with my Fix Plus like I'm accustomed to doing or my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And then I will go in with this afterwards to just lock it all in and for the concealer let's give that a up close look that looks bomb too actually that still looks good initially y'all you guys saw that it got really creasy up in here but then i went back in with more setting powder i don't know how that fixed it but 
it looks really good so so far i loved all of the products that i tried today so yeah guys that's it and i'm going to go ahead and play the intro i recorded earlier thank you guys so much for clicking on my video and give it a thumbs up if you found today's video helpful and if you aren't already please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time bye